have time for just a question or two here before we wrap up today. Again, I know we've covered a lot, uh, but I do want to pose this question, and either uh, Stephen or Joe, if you want to weigh your thoughts on this, uh, why would the form of arbitration award make a difference if the award itself is not appealable? Any thoughts on that? Stephen, do you want to start with that, and then maybe Joe well, will my, go to my only, my yeah, my original comment, I, I guess, would stand on that is um, it, it makes a difference because parties want to know. Um, they want to know, well, what what went right, what went wrong, and it's it just it's killing them to know how did how is it the arbitrator decided that um, they're only going to get um, you know one hundred and fifty two thousand five hundred dollars, um, and it's it's really for that purpose. Now there are uh, again possibilities of um, appeal, some you know, but very often arbitrators are able to get away with uh, mistakes of fact and mistakes of law uh, because the, the case law out there is pretty liberal in terms of what arbitrators are allowed to do and what their um, what the scope of their powers are and things of that sort. Because as Joe indicated earlier, there's very limited uh, ability to overturn arbitration awards. Excellent. Joe, thoughts on that also? Yeah, I mean, I would say that uh, I think there's value to reasoned awards. Uh, I would say most of my clients, if they're going to lose, they want to know why. Um, and if they if the if they won, maybe they don't care, I guess. But certainly, if they lost, they want to see the reasoning and and figure out why it is they lost. Why did these three people on the panel uh, disagree with what we thought was for sure the right position? And how did they get to the the final dollar amount that they're awarding to the other side? Um, also, I think there's some value to having a reasoned decision um, because although it is our limited grounds for getting arbitration awards overturned. Yeah, as you can see in that Ballard Marine case I talked about earlier, uh, if there had not been a reasoned decision, uh, we probably wouldn't have had a written dissent in that case, noting potential uh, misconduct by the chair. And there would have been way less uh, of a reason for the losing party to file a motion to vacate. So uh, there's value in it, but uh, you know, Steve's right, it's ex more expensive to get a reasoned decision. But assuming that you've got a, a dispute that was um, you know, large enough to justify going all the way through a legitimate arbitration with, then it's probably worth ponying up the extra money to get the reasoned decision, in my opinion. 